Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Trans Trucking Talk. Uh, today we'll be taking a quick job. We're going to take this pressure tank job from Nogales to San Simon. I probably butchered the pronunciation of both of those, but I've never been to Arizona, so I'm sorry. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about my trip to the gender clinic that I recently had. Um, it was a very positive trip, actually. It was really good, and we made a lot of progress. Um, so we'll just wait for this to load here, and we'll drive this job. So I had a gender clinic appointment very recently, and um, it went really well. We talked about how things are going, um, and they're really happy with the progress I'm making. Sort of six to eight months ago, I was in a bad place. Um, I wasn't eating that well, I was depressed and anxious all the time, um, and it, it was difficult, but in sort of the past few months, um, I've started to do a lot better, um, and thankfully I'm in a really good place right now. I'm becoming, oh dear, that's a car, I'm becoming more and more comfortable in myself, apparently not comfortable in this truck. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling more and more able to do things uh, that I didn't used to be able to, so it's, it's positive. And um, we also talked about the possibility of getting surgery, um, which is something I'm fairly decided on now. Uh, they have a few requirements, almost. Uh, not quite requirements, but they generally don't refer people to surgery unless they've done these things. So, um, but I almost meet all of them. The first one is uh, to have made a lot of progress in your social transition. In the UK, we honestly kind of do things backwards. We have to socially transition before we physically can start transitioning. Um, but they're happy with the progress I've made in that because I have my name changed and um, I'm out 100% of the time. They're really happy with how that's going, so I've passed that criteria, as it were. Um, they also like your hormone levels to be where they want them, um, and mine aren't quite yet. I'm on 20 milligrams, well, not 20, uh, 2 milligrams of estrogen twice daily, and I'm also on uh, blocker injections. Um, the blocker injections should have reduced my testosterone levels down to um, almost zero, probably, um, and my estrogen levels before I went on the blockers were just below normal range, so, um, or just below the range you'd expect for a trans woman who's transitioning. So, um, they've I've had a blood test recently and they're just waiting on the results of that now. Uh, and then they'll be able to instruct my doctors what to do in regards to that because if my hormone levels are still too low they're going to tell my doctors to increase the dose uh, so I'll be put on three milligrams twice daily and at the gender clinic they said that's what they expect to happen uh, so yeah I've made a lot of progress already um, what I still need to do is obviously the hormone levels, but then also they, I'm not currently in work at the minute, I'm looking for a job, but they do require some evidence of either work or volunteering or um, some sort of course, so I'm not quite there yet on that front, but after that they'll be happy to refer me, and they said if I keep making the sort of progress I've been making, then I should be ready to be referred in no time, which is really exciting. Um, well, for me it's exciting, it's also scary, but 
I mean, any surgery is probably fairly scary. So that's sort of to be expected, really. Um, so, yeah, that was my recent trip to the gender clinic. It was. I didn't expect it to go quite that well. I knew I'd been doing fairly okay, but they they were really, really happy and pleased with the progress I'm making, so that's really good. Now, we're just going to come around Tuscan here. Still probably saying everything wrong, but you know. Let's see how fast we can go down this junction. to pull on here. There we are. So, yeah, there's not much more to say about my um, clinic appointment recently. Other than it was really good. Oh, I've discovered Tusca. Good. Um, so, yeah, the next steps for me are to carry on wo working on my voice with these videos. That's something I really want to improve and get better um, and to also continue looking for a job so that's something I'm making progress with though so yeah it's it's things are going fairly well um, another thing that I can talk about today is the board game group that I go to uh, every Tuesday evening, um, which is actually tonight. I'm recording this on Tuesday. Um, you'll see it on the Wednesday though. Uh, I go to a board game group every Tuesday night where we meet in a pub, everyone brings a few board games that they have and we sit down and play and talk and just sort of enjoy each other's company. Um, and that's been really good uh, the, all the people there have been really accepting of me and no one's really said anything about it but they've just it's not ever bothered them that I'm trans which has honestly been a huge relief because I was worried when I was first going that it might be a problem but it hasn't been so that's been fantastic and it's been really good to get out the house and um, and see people in a social setting it's also been the third anniversary of my coming out I came out on the 24th of March 2015 um, to all my Facebook friends and so the um, the three year anniversary of that came around the other day which is oh it's honestly flown by I didn't it's come up sooner than I feel like I expected it to um, but all my friends on Facebook have been wonderful and supportive of me they've sent positive messages um, I've had people uh, sort of congratulate me on various different parts of the process like um, things to do with the gender clinic and whatnot so yeah everyone's been more than happy to send messages of support and positivity which has been instrumental throughout the process and um, I'm not sure I'd have made it to where I am today quite as quickly at least without all that support um, no one who I considered a friend before coming out has ever said anything bad to me so regarding transition so it's yeah I, it's really affirming and just really nice I've also sort of had people I haven't talked to in years message me saying they're sort of almost proud of me I guess and they're happy that I'm happy and that I'm living the life that I feel comfortable living 
Um, so having that support is honestly wonderful. I'm really lucky to have a strong support base for my transition because my family have been nothing but accepting. Uh, my best friends have been really accepting and all my extended friends and family have been have always been there if I need it. It's been wonderful and I know I'm lucky to have that. Not everyone does when they come out, which is uh, one of the sad realities of the world we're in at the minute. But hopefully one day things will be better and coming out will just be sort of another normal part of life that isn't really stressed over too much. One of the things about the board game group that I really enjoyed is that transness has just been a non-issue there. People haven't commented on it at all. They just sort of started off using she, her pronouns for me, which are my preferred pronouns, and they've carried on and it's just, no one's ever questioned it, no one's ever said anything. So the fact that they treated it as a non-issue and sort of almost like, oh yeah, okay, let's get on with board games has been honestly one of the best responses I've had because it's I don't think it is something that should need to be um, oh almost missed that turning that should need to be uh, raised up on a platform of oh my goodness you're so brave or um, oh that must be so difficult I'm um, it's just another part of life for me. Let's see where they want us to park this trailer. We can do that. That one's a little more tough. We'll try this one. I'll try not to run this guy over as well. I'm still getting used to the long fronted trucks in the Euro Truck Simulator, which I've been playing a fair bit recently. Oh, that's not the way I wanted to go. Um, the trucks are flat fronted. So I've been having to get used to the longer fronts of these ones. Oh, come on. That's almost in. Let's just pull it this way a little bit. I'm really bad at parking these things. Oh, almost had it there. There we go. So we'll detach the trailer and that's that job done. So we've got a few bits of progress towards achievements. We might level up here. Yeah, we leveled up. So we're going to pick up a point in high value cargo this time so that we can start making some money. Uh, and then hopefully we'll be able to buy our own truck. If you have recommendations or suggestions of what sort of truck to buy, please let me know because I have no idea about any of the American truck companies. So. I have no clue. Uh, thank you all for watching this episode of Trans Trucking Talk. Uh, I'll record another one for next week and I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye bye.